Hello and thanks for joining School of the American Rifle. Today's video is about bolt carrier cleaning and scraping tools. Probably one of the products that I don't talk much about publicly, but uh, I try to tell students to exercise caution with them. I've uh, concealed the makers of these scraping tools because I'm not trying to disparage the product, but just to emphasize caution extreme caution when using them. Whether it be a tool that's designed for the purpose of cleaning your carrier or bolt, or you're using something like a wire brush, whether it be bronze or steel, whether you're using a piece of brass or some type of scraping implement, you need to be extremely careful about how you're using these tools to get the fouling out of the gun. A lot of people think that the AR-15 needs to be white glove and delicately lubricated to run. It doesn't. It can run with a lot of fouling inside of it. The caveat there is that it needs lubrication to push past that fouling. So if you're the type of person that runs your gun bone dry, then you do have to be more thorough with how much fouling builds up inside of the carrier. Yes, this is a cut down carrier. This is a cutaway just to show you how it works. But you have to be very cautious about how much fouling builds up here and inside of here. But if you lubricate your gun properly with a wet lube, these areas here do not wear down from use. They're either made wrong from the factory, wrong dimensions, and they cause inefficiency, or they're worn down because of some of these types of tools. And what they do is they turn down the dimension here, which causes gas to leak by here. Let me put the bolt in so I can show you. But essentially what we get is gas comes in here, this is your chamber area. The gas ring seal gas from exiting out the front and the tail of the bolt in relation to the hole in the carrier seals the gas here. And this is what causes the bolt to unlock when the system pressurizes. If you get too aggressive, if you become too OCD about cleaning this area here or in here, then gas will leak by when the system pressurizes. It is extremely rare for regular operation of the gun to make these dimensions undersized. Extremely rare. They're either made wrong out of the gate or inefficient or they're undersized there or oversized here from using abrasive tools. Law enforcement agencies, private gun owners consistently. I see their guns in my classes. They bring them to me. I inspect them. And the ones that complain about operation almost always will fail the gauges that I use to test the diameter of the bolt tail, the gas ring run, or the bolt tail run inside of the carrier. And they're usually not that way out of the gate. They get that way because people become aggressive and OCD for no particular reason. Because they've been taught that they have to become extremely particular about getting all the fouling out. As long as you lube the gun things will push past the fouling. The fouling that builds up here, it will break away and blow out of the exhaust ports on the carrier. It will not shut the gun down if you run the gun with lubricant in it. The same thing for the inside of the carrier. So if you do own these tools, be very careful about how aggressive you are with it. Be very careful about how you scrape or brush things. Sometimes the brushes can grab the gas rings and lift them up and damage them. Sometimes just taking it apart to clean it and not being careful about how you seat the gas rings in the carrier can cause them to roll over. I use these in my videos and my classes to show you what I'm looking for with bolt tails and I use gauges here to look for if efficiency inside the carrier. So if you see this, it's okay. If you see fouling inside of your bolt carrier, that's okay. If you are OCD about it, Try to step away from anything that might scrape or be abrasive and maybe use a chemical method. There are companies like Slip 2000 that make carbon cutting uh, solvents. If you want to buy something more commercial, you can buy CLR from just about anywhere. Uh, hardware store carries it. Walmart carries it. You could also use uh, Berryman's Carb Cleaner. You can get that in an auto parts store. Basically, just soak the components in it and it'll soften the fouling and you can wipe it off with something non-aggressive like a cotton swab in a nylon brush. This is all that I use to clean bolt carriers along with chemicals and degreasers. I'm not going to use abrasives. If 
you do scrape and you become aggressive, you run the risk of making your bolt carrier inefficient. And if you're becoming aggressive with things, it's maybe because you were taught that way, and this is not to disparage anyone that may have taught you how to maintain your stuff, but uh, be careful when it comes to the AR about becoming obsessive about scraping at things. If you've already done it, stop. If you own tools that scrape, be very, very careful with them. What can happen when you're using them is you put them over the tail right here, and the carbon or the fouling will break free, and as you're spinning it, it's essentially becoming a lapping compound and turning this down. The same thing inside the carrier. You put this tool inside here, you spin it, and as it's turning, the carbon's breaking free depending on how it's holding it, and it can turn this, this gas ring run down. So if you use these, just be very, very cautious and use them in a very limited, a very, very limited situation where the gun becomes so foul that it won't operate. It's very rare. If you do get that uh, situation, just lube it up. But if you're abusive, try to step back from it because being abusive to your bolt carrier is not the conduct of a gentleman. Just joking, guys. So I hope you found this video educational. Thanks for watching.